welcome to my review of the 60D. Currently on this camera I have the Canon 50mm f1.8 lens. So join me on this review as I take you through the lovely city of Plymouth to do some street photography. The 50mm lens is a highly regarded street photography lens and to prove that I'll be using that for this street photography kind of thing. Now it's nice because you can get a lot of depth of field, um, especially with the large aperture of f1.8. But I don't get what the buzz is of all of this street photography. What's the point of it? I mean, it's just taking pictures of random things that you find interesting in the street, like this really random water feature. Now, some call me the Bokeh Master, especially with the 50mm lens, because you can get a lot of bokeh. Um, and to prove that, I'm going to take a picture of this bin with perfect bokeh. Photography is surprisingly easy. You just walk in the park, quite literally. Walk in the park with some pictures. Now, I think we should get a nice long exposure of this. So, let's go ahead and do that. Right. So it is very windy, um, but we're going to try and get a long exposure of this um, to smooth out the water. I can't find my remote, so we're just going to have to make do um, with what we've got. Now, it's very cold and already my finger is numb. So let's see how this turns out. Now that is just way too overexposed, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna have some magic filters over the front. Right, it's very windy. I suggest when you do this, uh, do it with a proper tripod, um, not this. Uh, I don't have my remote shutter in my pocket, so I can't find it. So we're just gonna have to do this without. Now these long exposures take a lot of time to do, but I'm hoping that uh, I'll get one good enough. Let's take a look. That wasn't quite long enough. Let's go again. Oh, it's the art of failure. Oh, I moved the camera. Let's go again. This wind is very annoying. It would be nice if there was somewhere less windy to film this. By the end of the day, my hair is gonna look like Einstein's. I swear to God. My finger's numb. I'm gonna put some gloves on in a minute. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that was much better. Yes. Let's move on. Right, so we've moved to higher ground uh, and it's a lot less windy. So let's get some more pictures. Uh, now we're just taking pictures of what we think's interesting because that's what people do nowadays. They don't take into account anyone else. Um, We're currently at the uh, Plymouth Senator with a ton of names on it that no one ever reads because it is unreadable. But, you know, over there we've got the lighthouse, so we're probably going to get some of that. Then a bit further down, you've got the sea. Right, let's grab a picture of that. That 
looks somewhat impressive. We're trying to uh, impress, you know. Like we're walking around with two cameras and people think we're rich, so whether that's anything. Uh, it's a nice lion. Looks scary. So we're gonna get a picture of that. Now I'm using manual focus because autofocus is a bit weird. Right, we're now on Plymouth Hoe. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit more windy up here, but you know, it's nicer scenery. Uh, let's head further over onto the grass, and we'll, we'll see what that's like. My hair is terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't really care about my hair, but I do. Um, the only problem with prime lenses is, as good as they are with everything, you can't zoom. And they're not very wide angle. So you try and get a picture of something that's nice and big, you can't. Um, Like that island over there, I can just get in frame. Uh, let's carry on down. Right, we've come down from the top. It's not really much interesting stuff here, to be honest. Yeah. Oh. It'd be nice if uh, I had the camera turned on. Let's take a picture of that. There we go. Uh, Plymouth. Let's head over this way and see what else we can get. Lovely. Now these videos are very hard and expensive to make. I mean, I've come all this way to Plymouth. There's not really anything to take pictures of. It's, it's all uh, rubbish. Absolutely terrible. Let's head over this way a bit more. Uh, the Canon 60D uh, can go right up to one eight thousandth of a second on its shutter, but it never uses it. And to be honest, what's the point? Well, this is a cheap £15 tripod, so I don't really expect anything from it. I mean, it nearly blew away earlier, um, although it was quite strong wind. to 55. Oh dear. I, I ain't got anything like, interesting. But on the plus side, I found my rock trigger. This was the uh, batteries. Right, so we've moved and we're getting the long exposure down here where it's not windy. Um, now I'm using my nice fancy Tamron lens. I'm gonna grab one more filter. Um, chuck that in the front. So we've got uh, three ND filters. Yeah, this this is my, if you, if you don't know, I've got a new book of filters and it's amazing. It's uh, 32 different filters, I think. 
Um, so let's grab a nice long exposure of that. Um, so we just do that and now, now we wait. Right, let's try again. Uh, uh, uh. No, I don't know why, but it's a pinkish kind of colour. Um, I don't know. Oh, this one. This one's making it pink. I'm gonna move that closer to the closer to the lens there. And then we uh, have that one on the end. Ugh. Get in. You know, let's just use a different, use a different filter. See, this this is like the kind of stuff you don't see photographers doing. Um, I'll do. Get a nice gradient there. You know, normal photographers can be. In fact, sometimes they can be right. Especially paparazzi photographers. I mean, there. I don't know what's going on with them. Um, now we're waiting again. Let's see how this goes. That's not too shabby. I'll definitely uh, give it credit for that. Right, so now we're going to test the night performance on the 60D. Um, if I've done this video right, I will have the same lens as before. Uh, the 60 to 300 by Tamron. Um, hopefully, the night performance on this will be a lot better than the 600D I'm shooting this on because I'm a cheapskate and I can't afford anything expensive. So, the ISO performance on that is diabolical, but on here it should be so much better. Let's go. Right, so this is a bit awkward. I'm, I'm taking a long exposure of this road um, on a fence gate and I'm trying to get everything right. Of course, it is rather hard, but it's okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's do this for about a minute and a half, shall we? Now, I forgot my remote shutter. So I have to hold this with my finger. At least kind of make smooth buttons and no textured buttons. So I ain't gonna have a dent left in my finger. At least I shouldn't have, I'm wearing gloves. Did I say there was a lot of waiting involved in this? The art of long exposures, um, it goes way back in history. I'm trying to create the flow of traffic lights over the picture. My hand's really aching now. Ah. I've, I think anyone who goes past probably thinks that we are like undercover speed police, trying to check the uh, speed of every car that comes past. Um, it looks even more believable with the fact that the, the 600D that we're shooting this on uh, has a wireless lavalier mic receiver on it that looks a bit like a speed gun. Um, and I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, you can see me with my camera. My lovely afternoon, evening cameraman, William, has his camera. So, anyone who comes past will uh, definitely wonder what's going down. Of course, they always assume it's the police and not just some innocent people trying to get a long exposure. Um, but who cares? William's uh, learning the harsh reality of being a cameraman. Um, I've had to carry that thing right around Torquay with a chunky uh, tripod on it as well. Um, I think we'll leave that long exposure there. And that is a beautiful exposure that there's a bit of shaking, but you know, for someone who doesn't have a tripod, I would say that's pretty good. 
Um, ISO performance is excellent, considering I have it on ISO 100. Uh, hello. Let's, let's take a night picture and see how it goes. Um, so we're putting this in auto, so it's all the camera that's doing this. Uh, and let's see what happens. Pop-up flash there. Um, whether it's any good, debatable. Um, you will see the picture in the video because I can edit and I know how. So this is going to just be another test, really. I mean, it's a 50 millimeter lens with a wider aperture of f1.8. Um, this is just the standard low quality run of the mill 50 mil lens. You can get L lenses that are designed for it, but the only difference is the fancy red tape you get around the edge. Um, There we go. Let's try and uh, get some boke with the uh, lights here. I am the boke master. And there we go. We have some boke as well. So I think that's a pretty fair test of the night pictures. Um, so I've got this camera on loan. Um, I'm not going to add a conclusion. I'll probably do it as a separate video if I can be bothered because at the time of recording this night video, I haven't even recorded the daytime test yet. Um, this camera is on loan from someone. I think it's my college. So thanks to my college for loaning me the fancy wireless lav mic and the camera. Um, I don't care about this camera anymore even though I have yet to use it. So I'm going to walk on and take some pictures while you all at home go click on another video because this video is now at an end and I don't care. Guys, I've got a confession to make. I have bad shopping habits. <laughs>